Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. But if you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Today we're going back into the mutant universe and I'm making another mutant character. This one I like to call the nanny. All right, now I am super excited to share this video with you today. Not only because I love how the mutant looks, but I got to use Clay Claims brand new sculpting tools. These things are amazing. This is the first project I've used them on and seriously, they are an absolute joy to work with. You will see me use them throughout this entire video and probably in many more videos to come. So thank you so much, Simon, for sending me these. You're awesome. These are awesome. Seriously, the best, highest quality tools I think I've ever used. And then one more thing before we get started, don't forget to grab your new Mutant merch. It's available right now. It has all of the mutants on it from season one and it's available on t-shirts hoodies, mugs, phone cases, all of that in the link in the description box below. It's only going to be available for a limited time, so make sure you grab yours before they're gone. All right, now, like I said, the nanny is one of my favorite mutants now. This season two is off to a good start. I really like how she turned out. She's very different from the other ones that I've made, and I really think you're going to like her. So with all that said, I will be telling you more about her backstory and lore later on in the video, so stay tuned. Watch the whole thing so you don't miss any of it. And now let's get started. All right, let's get her started. We're going to start by bulking out the dress. She doesn't need a base because the dress is going to support her. And then we're just gonna do like the torso. And like I said, the dress. So let's bulk that out of foil and then we'll go on with some Super Sculpey Ultralight after. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's start um, covering this in some Super Sculpey Ultralight. We'll bulk it out a little bit more, maybe make her a little bit taller, and then we'll be good to go. Now I am going to poke a hole in the back just so the air has room to escape. I, I will plug this later. Put the hole right there. Because then if I don't do that, then the air will try to push out through the clay and you'll get like a bubble or a crack and it'll just be a big pain. So save yourself a headache and poke a hole if you're unsure. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I'll be right back. All right, now that she's baked and completely cooled down, it's time to start covering her in clay. For this project, I'm using Super Sculpey Original, my favorite clay. In the middle realm of the mutant universe, we meet the Nanny. Once a friendly old woman turned evil and mutilated by the entity, she's a four-armed, monstrous creature feared by all, even though she can only be seen by children. Children aren't her only victims, though, as she finds it easier to hunt adults, as, to them, she's invisible. Thank you. 
All right, now that we've got the body figured out, and she's looking pretty good, I'm going to create a little separation between her upper half and lower half, the bottom part of the skirt here, by adding a little band of clay here. Just a nice little detail for her dress. I'm going to flatten out a snake of clay, stick that on, and then go from there, create some more folds and wrinkles, make it look a little more realistic. So, let's see what happens. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my brand new clay claim tools that he was kind enough to send me. Simon sent these to me, and they are some of the nicest tools I think I have ever used. They're so well made. They're made out of wood, and he's got three different finishes, I believe, and these are all metal. And we got the silicone shaper tool here, and they're amazing, and I'm really excited to use them for the first time on this project. So. First, let's take that silicone tool and start pressing out some little wrinkles around her waist here. And then keep going, but these are really nice if you want them. I believe they're on his website, clayclaim.com. So go check them out. Don't forget the mutant t-shirt design is now available. It has all your favorite mutants from season one. We've got the mother, the chef, the photographer, the seamstress, the ice cream man, the farmer, and the mantis all in one really cool design. So check it out. It is available in multiple colors and styles. The link is in the description box and grab it before it's gone because it's only available for a limited time. Now back to the video. Now that the body's done and I've got given her that nice hump on her back, we're gonna go ahead and make her arms and then move on to the head. I think for the arms, I wanna keep them um, pretty proportionate with the rest of her body. And then we'll kinda go from there. Maybe she'll have like long skinny fingers, we'll see. The nanny's favorite way to kill is to use her forearms to dismember her victims by pulling them apart and eating them. Right now, before I make the other arm, I'm gonna make a creepy little teddy bear for her to hold in her hand, and then I'm going to pre-bake it and then attach it to her once I have her hand done. So let's go ahead and make that teddy bear right now.
All right, there's the creepy little teddy bear. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make her arm off camera and then we will somehow attach this to the arm. <laughs> All right, now that we've got that arm figured out for her hand, I think I'm gonna put it like this at the end of that wire and then it's gonna stick out and I'll be able to push the bear onto it and then wrap the fingers around the bear like she's just clutching it. So let's try to do that, see if it works, see if it looks right and then um, we'll just go from there. All right, now that we got her body completely done, I'm gonna go ahead and start her head. This thing's gonna take like a whole pound of Super Sculpey. Okay, now for her head, I do want it to be a bit oversized. Um, I don't want it to be like completely proportionate with her body because I wanna put some nice like big scary details on her. So let's go ahead and just start and see where it takes us. I really do not have a plan for her head at all. So this will be interesting. The nanny is active at all times of day and resides in closets and bedrooms. Parents and adults must use children to know when she's around, making it difficult to escape her. All right, now that her head is attached, I'm gonna go ahead and throw her in the oven and bake her and we'll be right back. All right, now that she's baked and completely cooled down, I was going to start adding her hair, but I had another idea. And I know she's already baked, but I feel like I'm going to miss an opportunity here and I'm, and I'm gonna take it. So I'm gonna go take her out in the garage and I'm going to drill another hole through 
the top of her shoulders here because I'm gonna give her another set of arms. I think that'll really enhance the creep, creep factor and give her something that I think she's missing. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. And we'll be totally fine because Sculpey is 100% drillable, sandable, all that even after it's baked. So, all right, be right back. And hopefully this goes smoothly. All right, we are back and those holes are drilled in. Look at how, how nicely the clay drilled. Like, it was like butter, I swear to God. And then this, I pushed the drill in a little too far, but I would have taken you with me, but my garage is a mess. But um, you know how a drill works. <laughs> so, all right, let's stick some wire in there and let's make her second set of arms. The nanny is one of the most physically strong mutants as she can tear apart a full grown man within seconds. Her only weaknesses are her low intelligence and being completely blind in one eye. When she springs into an attack, she is extremely violent, often destroying much of everything in her path to get to her victims. When she's not in attack mode, she has the ability to be completely silent. All right, her hair is done, it looks good, and she's ready for her hands. I'm gonna go ahead and make those off camera, then I'm gonna throw her in the oven and we'll be ready for paint. All right, now that she's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. All the paints that I'm using in this video are folk art brand matte acrylics. I'm gonna go ahead, start with her face and hands, and then we'll move on to her dress. Right now I'm gonna go in with a darker gray wash, like always, get into all those nooks and crannies, bring out those details, and then we'll do some highlights, we'll paint her hair and her clothes, and she'll look really good.
Even though the nanny can be completely silent before striking, there have been times when people have reported hearing a faint music box tune in the distance before an attack. And she's done! The nanny is complete. Let me know what you think of her in the comments. All right, I am really happy with how she turned out. I'm so glad that I decided to add the extra set of arms because she was really missing something there for a minute. And I'm glad I made the extra effort and put those on, even though she was already baked. Drilling into Sculpey is a cinch, and I'm just really glad I did it. I also really like the addition of the stuffed teddy bear. I think he looks cool, and I'm just really happy with her. So let me know what you think of her in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and then follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Ace of Clay. I'm also on TikTok, so check me out there, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.